becoming your best version of you or your dream self is going to look very different for everyone. And a lot of it has to do with the daily habits that we make because if we do one thing one time, it's not really going to make a difference in our life for the most part. But if we consistently do certain things that are going to be different for every person, then it's going to build you the life of your dreams and you're going to stack it almost like you're, you're stacking bricks building a house. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I teach people how to build a happier and more loving and fulfilling life with a dash of spirituality. And today, we're going to talk about how you can become your dream version, your best, best version of you. So the first thing you want to think about, as in where you're at in life right now, is what value are you bringing to the world, to your friends, to your family, to your loved ones, to strangers? What value are you bringing? And then you have to figure out, do you align with that value? Is that the value you want to bring to people? Let me give you a quick example. So I've worked in real estate full time for a few years now, and I loved at first what I was doing. I was making good money, I was helping people. It was, I learned a lot, it was really great. But over time, I started to become very misaligned with it. And the thing is, is even though I was making a lot of money doing it, I just didn't feel in alignment with it anymore. It didn't fit me anymore. However, on the other hand, I love to coach people. I love teaching people. I love talking about how to change people's lives and make them better and more positive. And I love making YouTube videos. But guess what? At this point, um, I'm not making money off of YouTube, but it's in alignment with me more than real estate is. So you may be doing really well at something, but it, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's aligned with you. So you have to figure out what's the value I'm pushing out to the world and does it align with my true self, my soul, my nature, my heart? Does it align with your heart? You know, there are habits that we all do daily. And the thing is, is if you're not bringing in these habits that are benefiting you and making your life better, you're kind of making it worse. And the thing is, is there are a lot of habits that I do that when I don't do them, I regress emotionally, physically, spiritually. I feel disconnected to myself and to God and to others. And I feel sluggish, I feel drained, I don't feel emotionally happy, I feel down, I feel depressed, whatever it is. And I know that if I don't journal and I don't go to the gym and I don't eat healthy and I don't pray and I don't do this, like I know I start to slowly go backwards. You have to stay on top of these habits that are benefiting you. So the next thing you really wanna do is take out a piece of paper, a journal, your phone, whatever, write down exactly, exactly who your dream version of you is. How do you feel? How do you carry yourself? What do you do for a living? Who do you spend your time with? What habits are you doing daily? What is your physical appearance like? What is your dream day? What is your dream daily day where you wake up and you go through a day and that is the way you would like it to be always? Because you can't get to your goal unless you know exactly what that looks like down to a T. I'll tell you when I did this a few months ago, I wrote down every little thing. I must have written two, three pages of one-liners. I am this, I, I am this, I am this. I feel this way, I do this. I react to situations in this way. Okay, anything you could possibly think of, write it down. Write it down so you have it in front of you. The next thing you want to do is saturate your mind with all of the materials that teach you of the things you want to be, of the things you want to do, of the things you want to learn and how you want to grow. And whatever that looks like for you, whether it's YouTube videos or books or audiobooks or podcasts or documentaries or whatever it is. Maybe you like to listen to subliminals when you sleep. Maybe you like affirmations. Maybe you like going into meditation and learning that way. Maybe you decipher your dreams like I do. And I don't mean this in an unhealthy way where when you wake up until you go to sleep at night, you're, you're doing something like this. Although you might want to, 
that's all I crave to do. I just crave to learn these materials because I just love them so much and they and and I've grown so much in the last few years that it's just really benefiting me and I crave more and more and more of it. Now here's the thing. If you are finding resistance to wanting to learn about these things, maybe you want to be a chef, right? But the thought of like learning recipes and learning how the chemicals work together and this and that like is something you like don't want to do then maybe it's not aligned with you. Maybe it's just something that you thought you wanted that you don't necessarily want. The next thing you want to do, <laughs> not all of you are gonna like this one, love your challenges. Yep, I know, I know. We give ourselves challenges. We have a lot of external challenges that come with us, whether it's from work or from friends or spouses or family or money or politics or what weather. There's so many things out there that can affect us. But here's the thing. Our challenges are what define us. They usually prepare us for the challenges that are to come. So the way we deal with these things that come towards us are what is going to build our character and get us more to an inner peace level. When you say, hey, this is frustrating, but it's not gonna break me and you just move on. For example, I was just driving home and I went to turn on my street and the road was closed and I'm like, Ugh. and like Sarah two years ago, she would have been like, it's bullshit. Blah, blah, and like, it would have been like a whole thing. Now I was like, okay, I'm just gonna keep driving. It's gonna take me a little longer to get home. Like things are really not as serious as we make them out to be like big freaking whoop. And I'll tell you what, sometimes when, when challenges hit me, I like to laugh at myself and kind of make fun of myself for it. And it really lightens the mood within my body and my spirit and just like my emotions in general. And it makes it a lot easier to deal with. You know, if a challenge was thrown at you, that means that you were chosen for that challenge, which means guess what? You can handle it. You can handle that challenge and it's going to prepare you for the next one because life is full of challenges. But there's no one out there that doesn't have challenges thrown at them. But the people that are confident and easygoing and calm and collected, they understand how to deal with them and that they're not the end of the world. So if something happens to you and it's something that you can't change, you accept it and you say, okay, great. How can I move forward in the best positive way possible? I know that this is preparing me for the greater good and it's, at the end of the day, it's really not a big deal. Number five, stop negative self-talk. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Stop negative self-talk. You probably don't even realize how much you do it. You know, I consider myself a more or less a pretty positive person most days. Most days, I have my days, you know? And, you know, a, a few months ago, I decided to really put my awareness and my focus on my self-talk on myself. <laughs> Duh, it's a little redundant, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Let me tell you, it broke my heart. It made me really sad when I realized how mean I am to myself every day, all day. But until you put that focus and awareness on that, you don't even realize half the time that it's happening. You must make the conscious effort to love yourself every single day and every moment that you can and continue to do it over and over and over again until you don't have to because it comes so naturally to you at that point. Now, it's a process. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, still, I still have to catch myself very often. And it could be something stupid like, let me, like, let me look at the camera. Oh, that hair's out of place. God, Sarah, why couldn't you be more aware of that? Like, and like these little tiny things that we nitpick against ourselves. Oh, I really have to get my eyebrows on. Oh, whatever. As soon as something like that happens in your mind, catch yourself and flip the script. And I have other videos on this. Like how can you honestly expect to live your dream life and be your dream version of you if you're mean to yourself, if you belittle yourself, if you minimize yourself, take up your space because you are a full person with a full personality and love and dreams and a life and you deserve it. So stop doubting yourself and stop minimizing yourself. Okay, next, make time. For what, Sarah? For whatever that means for you. For whatever you are running excuses about over and over and over again in your life. 
working out, eating healthy, meditating, reading, whatever it is that you're pushing off in your life that you say you don't have time for, you're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself to make yourself feel better that you're not doing it. And in reality, there are people that are way busier than you, way busier than me out there, and they make time for these things because they know that it will benefit them and have them grow and evolve and get to their goals and become their dream version and create their dream life. So I know it's a little harsh, but like, it's the truth. Stop making excuses and be who you want to be now. Next, this is one that I really like and I started doing myself and it has made a huge difference in my life and that is reviewing your day at the end of the day. Now, uh, most times I just do this in my head, but you can do it in a journal, you can say it out loud, whatever you wanna do, and you kinda just wanna go through your day and think about the things you did, the things you said, things you could've done better or said better, and then also the positive things that you were very proud of yourself for that day. And this allows you to kind of dissect yourself on a, a smaller scale so that you can make these small adjustments, and these small adjustments, guys, are what's going to change your life. Small habits are what's going to change your life, but how can you do that if you're not going back and revisiting and revising things that you're doing? And last, in my opinion, probably the most important, I couldn't get through a video about creating your dream version of your dream self and your dream life without talking about gratitude. Let me let you in on a little secret. If you don't have gratitude for everything, Every, I, I, everything, I mean everything. I mean, not even just the things that you have in life, but your health, the fact that you're breathing, the fact that you're watching or listening to this video, for the things that happen to you, positive and negative, everything that happens in your life, if you don't find gratitude and learn true gratitude for those things, you will never, you will never be your dream version of you. I promise. You cannot, It's it's, it's you can't. It's impossible for you to live your dream life and be happy and be content and, and have that inner peace if you don't have gratitude for the things you have, the things you are, and the things that happen to you and the things that happen for you. So I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this video. If you did, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. I love you guys so, so much. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Do you hear that? Be limitlessly yourself. Be your best self. Be your raw, authentic self. I love you.